With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. Question says that a particle is moving along a circular path with a constant speed 10 meter per second. What is the magnitude of change in velocity of particle when it moves through an angle 60 degree around the center of the circle? Okay, so in the question it is asking to find out the change in magnitude of the velocity of a particle. So let's see this is this is a circle along with the particle is moving and initially the particle is uh, particle was here having the velocity v1 and now it is somewhere here having the velocity v2 okay if this is the center then angle between these two points is 60 degree so this is given in the question okay now the question is asking the change in velocity okay magnitude of change in velocity between these two uh, point okay so if we draw a vector diagram okay so let's say the v1 is in this direction and the v2 is indeed this direction okay then we need to first find out this theta okay so if we see so if we uh, shift this vector towards here let's say we shifted this vector v1 towards here okay this is not straight so let uh, make a straight arrow so this is v1 let's say so we have to find out this theta okay and if we uh, extend if we extend this length then this will be like this okay so we know that we know that this is 60 degree okay and suppose this is 90 degree this is 60 then this must be 30 degree okay and again these two are at 90 degree then this must be 60 degree okay so we came to know that the angle between the velocity 1 and velocity 2 is 60 degree so theta is 60 degree okay now we have to find out the magnitude of change in velocity that is del v mod del v okay which is mod v2 minus v1 okay now if we see here the, the v1 is in minus okay so what we can do let's draw uh, negative to v1 so negative to v1 will be the just opposite of the v1 so we can draw the v1 in this direction okay then we have to find out the resultant that is v2 minus v1 this is minus v1 and this is v1 okay so if we apply the parallelogram rule of parallelogram okay of two vectors then this will be del v is equal to root under root under v1 square plus v2 square plus 2 v1 v2 cos and this is suppose this is so here it will be maybe this is pi so this angle will be pi minus theta okay so we can write pi minus theta so here uh, we know that the velocity is constant so v1 equal to v2 
so if you write v uh, v1 v1 equal to v2 that is v then this term this term will be 2v okay because v1 and v2 are same and also this one will be 2v square and here 2v square it will be 2v square and here 2v square and cos pi minus theta that is we can write pi minus theta we can write this one 2 root v square into and this one will be root under 1 minus cos theta is 2 sine square theta by 2 okay so again this root 2 will be out so we can write root 2 into v square and this root 2 will be root 2 and sine theta by 2 so root 2 root uh, root 2 into root 2 it will be 2 and the v is 10 so 10 square and sine theta okay so theta is equal to 60 degree so theta by 2 will be 30 degree so we can write sine 30 degree now if we substitute the values this is root v square so we can write here root 10 square okay so this will be 2 into when it, when we remove the root it will be 10 and sin theta is 1 by 2 so here 2 and 2 both are cancelled out so what we left the difference between the velocity will be 10 meter per second okay so we can write the del v the del v is 10 meter per second thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and doubt today